Not even a scratch. What's the plan? It'll regenerate soon. <laughs> it's about to. If you gather broken fragments of blood code, you can stitch them together with threads of memory. It's all right. You can do it. Please, save everyone. We will divide the body of the Queen into relics, which we will then seal into the successors. This will keep them separate and safe. Are you insane? Just shove that devil into a blast furnace already. Aurora Valentina. We've already attempted that. But that doesn't mean... Your compatibility means that you would have to stay in the crypt forever. Are you sure you're willing to do that? I have no interest in living a false life. Whatever the torment, I can bear it. If it means helping her, then I must. I am prepared, and I shall remain ever at the ready. As long as there are still people who I would die to defend. So please, rest easy, Karen. I will be at your side, for now and always. I'll be honest, I never expected to see you again like this. It's been a long time, Louis. Aurora? Aurora, is that you? What are you doing here? The answer was inside that memory. Fragments of the Queen's body were locked inside of successors. Human sacrifices. And I... am one of them. The Queen? But she was put down years ago. Officially, yes. But there's more to that, as you probably know. Revenants are seemingly immortal creatures, locked in a cycle of death and rebirth. But, if you destroy a Revenant's heart, then their body dissolves, and they can never revive again. The Queen should have been no exception. An immortal among immortals, even when reduced to ash. The Queen's regeneration couldn't be stopped. So you locked her away? Yes. 
by carving her undying body into relics and fusing those relics into the bodies of others. In doing so, the Queen's menace faded, and for a brief time there was peace. But we all knew the plan was desperate and flawed. Even with the relics locked away, the Queen's desire to live on could not be suppressed. The relics soon began to corrode the bodies of the successors, causing them constant and terrible anguish. You have witnessed the end result. They are reduced to living as beasts, devoid of all reason, seeking only to act on their most basic instincts. Yet, it was your power that restored my sanity. You have the ability to accept the Queen's blood. What? Huh? You have the power to quell the relics at last. Please, I beg you, relieve them of their suffering. This gate leads to the crypts where the successors rest. To reach the others, you will need to find these gates. I believe you can open it now. I will remain here, as I always have, to watch over and protect the paths leading to the successors. And the blood bead flow. So... This really is the source. Yes, beyond the gate. There rests the one who sheds tears of blood. Take care of her, Louis. Her? What do you mean? successors join the ranks of the lost, then the seals will break. The relics will be released, and the queen will be reborn. Before that happens, This is... that fate has seen fit to revive me one more time. Are you really all right? Yes, I'm fine, actually. The relic is sleeping soundly now. And you, 
I take it you're the one who gave me back my lost heart? I'm sorry. No, Louis. It's all right. If anyone should be apologizing, it's me. I've forced all of the burden onto you. Please, Louis. I'm asking you one more time. Go and visit the person who lies beyond the gate. Sorry, I... need to sleep for a while. Since I felt this drowsy.